Meanwhile, Claudia was killing time for her train, and she was delivering building supplies. Mimi was oblivious to what was on was on Mimi on Claudia's train while she steamed up to the signal. Were we seeing I've been working on the railroad? Asked one of the freight cars. We were, they all said. Mimi came to a stop. Careful not to crash into the high school again, Mimi, Claudia said. It was catastrophic, Mimi said. Just then, there was a big rumbling sound. It was Becky, Dwee, Lauren, Sam, Sasha, and Nevi pulling 314 freight cars. It was a massive goods train. And the train was even bigger than Mimi's train. It was yet a long train. Here we go, Becky said. The chorus is what we heard from I've been working on the railroad, said Dwee. Mimi looked ahead and she turned on her ditch lamps as Becky was fast approaching. Here I come, Becky said. Claudia waited patiently for the train to go by. Here comes the train, Mimi! And Mimi's driver looked at the big goods train coming. It was giant. Choo-choo! Becky said, Woman train coming through! And the long train went right past Mimi with all of the freight cars filled with nice stuff. This is massive, Mimi's driver said. It's long. Mimi was surprised. This is the funniest time ever, Claudia said. So many freight cars connected. That's cool. And the freight cars went right over the camera as Claudia watched the whole train go by. Happy birthday to the goods train. It has a lot of cars. I, they're pulling them today. And it's big for us to sing, Claudia. It's not the goods train's birthday, laughed Mimi. It's not mine either. That's in January. And the long train clattered along and the brake van was last in line. Our caboose is black, said Lauren. It's not a caboose. It's a brake van, said Sam. Brake van and caboose is exactly the same thing, Sasha said. You're right, said Mevy. It's a synonym. The signal soon changed to green, and Mimi steamed away with all her freight cars. It was really long. Here we go! Laugh the troublesome trucks. We'll have us done in no time. Mimi steamed into the mountains with all of her freight cars full of natural items. Train tracks can be railroads or fail roads. Laugh the troublesome trucks. You decide. It's your choice. The choice is ours. They laughed. And the big goods train clattered along. Mimi steamed under the bridge with all of her 
76 cars. It was a long train. Mimi, goods train coming through, and the troublesome trucks left. On, on, faster, faster! Left the troublesome trucks. Turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right. And they clattered along with all of their weight, and then began to sing the song again. Dave been working on the railroad. Mimi is in front. Mimi's pulling us all today. And now we're in the tunnel. <laughs> Not that version again, laughed the trucks. And they clattered along down the track with all of their items loaded up. Faster, faster, laughed the trucks. And one of the trucks is sick, said Scruffy. You're not sick, you're fine. Mimi said. We don't like being told that we're not sick just because another engine is sick, they said. Mimi steamed over the bridge with all of her freight cars laughing and singing behind her. Here we go, Mimi, here we go, they laughed. And they clattered down the track at a funny pace. In this, I don't like my snappy accent, Mimi said. And Mimi steamed up the grade. Faster, faster, laughed the trucks. Quit backseat driving, Mimi said. And the troublesome trucks were laughing so much that Mimi steamed faster than she had ever gone before. Here we go, they laughed. I wonder if Moiki and Lasty will be the engine for the Express this year, Mimi said. That will be fun, eavesdropped one freight car. And the troublesome trucks were eavesdropping on Mimi and Scruffy. Hold back, hold back, they laughed. Then there was trouble. A coupling spoke. Oh no! cried the freight car. And then there was more trouble. The coupling had separated. And half the train was loose. Don't worry, Scruffy. We'll be over soon, said Mimi. But she was wrong. Without the rest of the train, Mimi came to a stop at the top of the hill. Why are we slowing down? asked the freight car. Trains aren't supposed to move with no engine. That's hilarious! <laughs> We're not going to sing I've been working on the railroad for the rest of the day, said the freight car. They... The troublesome trucks laughed a lot. <laughs> Quiet there, Mimi snapped. Then there was trouble. The freight cars separated, began to roll away down the hill. Whee! They laughed. We changed our minds. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Clickety clack, clickety clack, all aboard. Faster, faster, laughed the freight car. Ha 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 at the station for Toby as the freight cars rolled by with no engine. I can't believe it, one of the passengers said. I can't, that train can't move with no engine. And the troublesome trucks rolled away. And they were rolling with no engine. Uh, we can't stop, laughed the trucks. Chorus is jammed! And then the freight cars rolled faster and faster down the grade. 
with no engine to stop them. Meanwhile, Kiona was delivering her goods train to Vickerstown. When she saw a petrifying sight, that looks scary, she said. Her driver threw on the emergency brakes, but it was too late. Oh no, she cried, as she came right off the tracks into a field. When Thomas saw the accident, he was surprised. Luckily, no one was hurt, but the freight cars had bashed into Kiona, and Kiona had flipped on her side. I can't use my locomotive now, she said. I'm stuck. The coupling on the leading car is broken, puffed Thomas. Meanwhile, Claudia was steaming along with the Candy Pajama Slumber Express. It was a long train. We can fix that broken coupler soon, Thomas said. It'll just take a while. Then, he had an idea. Why don't you join that train with the other, said Thomas. And Mimi did, a few minutes later. And she steamed off to her destination. It's good to offer help, Mimi said because those troublesome trucks play tricks on the engines. And you know what? One of the troublesome trucks said, those troublesome trucks will get them all the same. The guard in the brake van rode along behind the last car, and Mimi steamed into the rail yard with all of her freight. It was a long, big train. I'm exhausted from that work, Mimi said. The next day, Mimi was in the yard with Moiky, Lasty, James, and Mercedes. That was really useful, said Lasty. It was, said Moiky. A red engine can't sing like that, said James. Sir Topham Hatt spoke to Mimi. I've heard all about your heroic action, Sir Topham Hatt said. When your train separated, you joined along with Kiona's train. You really are a, such a useful engine. Thank you, sir, said Mimi, to be continued. <laughs>